My name is Juliana Barbosa Segredo. I am a fourth year undergraduate student here at Oregon State University. My major is bioresource research. My options are toxicology, bioinformatics, and I also have a minor in chemistry. And I am from Cornelius, Oregon. My name is Charlotte. I am a senior at Oregon State majoring in finance, and I'm originally from Beaverton, Oregon. My name is Madsen Rodriguez and I'm a fifth year senior at Oregon State University. My major is bioresource research uh, with an option sustainable ecosystems and I'm from Coos Bay, Oregon. How far did you travel for college? I actually didn't travel much. Um, it was just an hour and a half. An hour and a half away. Three hours or so. So when I was looking at colleges, I mainly was looking in Oregon. One of the schools that I did consider, and a lot of people consider this, Portland um, Community College. I consider like Oregon Institute of Technology. I also consider like U of O, University of Oregon, and like OSU. I applied to University of Portland and Portland State, but I decided that I actually did want to get a little further away from home. My first year of high school was here in the U.S., but before I was living in Mexico, when like I went to high school here, I was like trying to like learn a second language, but like also trying to get everything ready to come to college because I always wanted to go to a big university. In high school, I was very active in sports. Basketball was actually one of my passions. And with basketball, I was able to actually come to Oregon State, spend a few nights here and tour the school. So that was just a familiarity between the school and myself was ultimately the, the biggest factor in my decision. Thanks to the program at uh, camp, a uh, coach assistant marketing program at Oregon State University, uh, I was also able uh, to find that support even more to come to college because I knew I uh, wasn't going to be alone as well. Did you experience homesickness? How did you cope with it? There were definitely times where like, I faced like, uh, homesickness. You miss your normal home surroundings that you've grown up with. So just being removed from that environment or that sort of comfort. I was the first one in my immediate family to come to college. When I came here, I didn't know like much. And there were like so many things that I wasn't aware. Not having your family in the room next door, your pets to come comfort you. You just you feel a bit alone sometimes. One thing that definitely helped me though was that I was living with my sister. So I had part of my family with me. Definitely living with my sister eliminated any homesickness I had, but definitely still resisted the urge to go home early on. I think if I had gone home, I wouldn't have really wanted to come back. You definitely still miss your mom. They're cooking, just having someone there uh, for you. Beginning, it is a bit more difficult because it really just feels like it's you. You're more independent, which pushes you to go out and connect with others, develop those friendships, get involved. My first year, I was in camp in the Coach Assistant Migrant Program. You actually get to be a part of their Summer Bridge Program, along with programs like the Louis Stokes for Alliances and Minorities in STEM, like LSAM, or like Education Opportunities Programs, EOP, or like TRIO. I was also part of their internship program, so there was even like a smaller cohort, so I was able to make close connections. It's definitely okay to miss home. Then college starts to become your home and you make that your home. So you have a home away from home. Keeping those close connections, even if you don't check with them every day, knowing that they're there for you helped me a lot. And this is something that I'm probably going to recommend to like future students and also as I move in my career. What is one thing that worked well for you in high school that did not work well in college? In high school, I felt very prepared. I was on top of all my academics. I was an outstanding student. A lot of the time during the day is spent at school school and in the classroom and then you sort of go home and do homework in your room. But then when I started at PCC through early college, I was in the Beaverton School District and a perk of being in that school district is that they have a program called Early College High School. Essentially, you do your first two years of high school just at your traditional high school. And then for your junior and senior year, you actually attend a community college full time. So I went to Portland Community College and I did all of my classes there. I didn't ever spend any time at the high school I had previously attended. So you take all college classes. I was earning dual credit, so basically all of my classes. So I didn't end up earning my associates before heading into university, but I almost, I had like that many credits. It allowed me to, when I started at Oregon State, I was able to jump right into sort of the upper level classes in my major instead of taking the back 
in the more basic intro classes. I already found that study location almost didn't even work for me the same way. I much preferred to study on campus. I could like really cram five chapters like in a night and do well in my test. Those things don't really work in college. You're hit with reality when these classes are not as easy as you think. One time I was taking a chemistry class. I failed my first like midterm. I, I believe I got like a 20% out of a hundred and I was like, oh my gosh, this college life is not for me. I need to go back home. Everybody tells you to connect with professors. And I honestly, I think that's what saved me in my higher courses. In high school, I knew I could just go to my teacher immediately. But in college, I was like, no, you gotta like send a specific email like with your class section, uh, the title, be as specific as possible so they know you. There were times where like I felt that I was just like another student, like another number. But there have been like professors in college that make that extra effort uh, to get to know you. And that's one of the things that I appreciate the most. You know, they're just people just like you. They struggled with some things too. Do not be afraid of asking questions. You're the student. You're here for a reason. You're here to ask questions. Otherwise, if you didn't, like, you'd have a PhD and you wouldn't have to be in school. The professors are there and provide you the help, but it's up to you to reach out that help. What's one thing you wish you knew before starting your first year? Back then, I was like, if I choose a major, that means like you're gonna do that for the rest of your life. It took me so many tears and dedication and patience to understand that an undergrad major doesn't really define your future. It just provides you tools to move on to a professional program, like grad school or like PhD, law school, med school. Or if you don't gonna go that route, it's okay. There's also other ways that you can still continue your career. One of the things I was not prepared for was having two roommates that were completely different to me in how they went about their space. Having to share such a small space and setting boundaries was just very difficult and apparently it was for them too. I feel like a lot of my nervousness when going to the career fairs just came from the fact that I'm more of a shy person. I'm not extremely outgoing. I'm graduating early. I was always a bit younger than the people who were at college fairs or meet the firm events with the College of Business. And it just seemed like my classmates had more experience because maybe they had an extra year of internships that I didn't have. You'll have roommates that you either don't get along with, they stress you out. Even with my roommates and how difficult of a time I had with them, I am still friends with them. I'm really happy that I had that experience. A lot of the career fairs I went to weren't required, but I sort of pushed myself to go because even if I just talked to one recruiter and then just sort of ran out of there, I at least had that one more chance to talk. You don't have to have your life figured out yet. <laughs> it's okay. Some adults still don't have their life figured out yet. Not everyone is as confident as they appear to be necessarily. You might be really scared and nervous and think that other people will be nervous too. But then when you get there, they all seem like they have it all figured out. They don't. They're just trying like you to sort of put off that confidence impression in order to just sort of fake it till they make it. And so don't be intimidated by that.